Hello, this is a user help video for a general introduction to the Revenetics web user interface. I'll go ahead and log in here. What I want to highlight in this video is just the general usage, how you navigate the system, uh, kind of highlight a few key areas, uh, but we'll discuss those areas in greater detail in other help videos. You'll notice uh, we have a, a system of tabs as our main menu interface. If I click on a top tab, then the sub row of tabs will change and I get a different content. Uh, and also, I'll point out right now that there is a help option. If I ever needed help, uh, the help is case, or rather is tab sensitive. So currently I'm on the server active jobs tab. So if I click on this drop down menu, we'll see that if I were to click on the help, it would take me to the active jobs section in the user manual. Uh, the server active jobs is uh, again is the default tab. Uh, you'll come here whenever you log in because we want to show you if the system is currently running uh, any backup jobs. So at a glance you can tell if, if the system is busy. Uh, to highlight a few other areas, I have a client's summary tab. Uh, you'll probably browse into here and become very familiar with this page. Uh, at a glance I can see my list of clients, uh, whether or not they're connected, handful of other things uh, that we'll get into detail in in other videos. Uh, one thing I will point out is that we use a, a right-click menu system. So if I pick any given row for any client and just right-click, I will get a drop-down menu of actions that I can perform. Maybe I want to kick off a manual backup or maybe I want to edit this client. Uh, things like that. I'll just go ahead and click on that. Those are the kinds of things that we can do with that right-click menu. Uh, we'll dig into this a little bit more, but here you can see some of the ways we can edit the client. Uh, let me jump back to the client summary to show off a, another feature of the user interface. We have a, several filters and things that can help us sort our data. If I click on that filters button, uh, I can then uh, look for a client specifically by name. Maybe if I have a really giant list and I want to see all of my clients that start with the letter S, I could just type in the letter S and, uh, well, that's not a good example, but uh, uh, if I typed in the letter S, uh, actually it would show me everything that starts with S, but if I wanted to type in uh, S03, I would get a different list and I see all of my clients that start with S03. A uh, few other key areas, uh, maybe the jobs history page, I'll get it to display here. <clears throat> Uh, this is where I would come and view all of the jobs that have that are stored currently on my uh, on the RAID array. Uh, if I wanted to archive something, I can come into the archive libraries page, uh, pick my archive uh, media page, and uh, I can interface with my archive disk and see what's on there. Uh, I can also look at some of the key uh, uh, areas of of my system. I can find out what version of the software I'm running. Uh, I can uh, look at fan temperatures and disk temperatures and all sorts of things. I can also uh, check out my RAID array. Uh, I happen to be on a 1U system, so we've got four drives here. Looks like everything's in, uh, in good shape. Uh, another page I'll highlight is the uh, System Settings tab. This is where I can configure all kind of the, the basic networking things. Uh, I can also, from here, I can reboot or I can apply uh, update files. But in general, this is mostly used if I wanted to configure my host name or look at my, <clears throat> look at my networking or set up uh, email notifications and things like that. I have a diagnostics page, which uh, this is a great feature. Uh, if I were to call into Revenetic support, uh, they could say, hey, let's open a support tunnel. They'll give me a number. Uh, I would, I would type it in and then hit the button to start the remote tunnel and then uh, Revenetic support can connect and help me out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop with that. Uh, that's just a, a real basic introduction. Again, check out some of our other help videos and we'll get into more details uh, on uh, more specifics on some of the other tabs and how to do more specific things. Thanks.